All right, hello, good morning guys. I am gonna go right up here in the woods to try out some of my camping equipment. And we're gonna see if we can cook a freeze dried meal up here and sit down in our portable camping chair and see what we can discover up here. Okay. So not even like three minutes <laughs> in the backyard. There's a, there's a trail back here. I didn't know that. And I did hear something like a waterfall up here. So check it out. I see those streams are kind of dribbling down over here. No trespassing. Yeah, right up here, no trespassing. Okay, so it says no trespassing, that's okay. We're gonna go this side and see if we'll find any no trespassing over here. I say I say this guys, we're gonna go up there because I think I hear a waterfall of some sort. Okay, we're almost there guys. This place is gonna look absolutely nice once all the leaves start coming out. Okay, that wasn't too much of a bad walk. There it is, a stream. So what I'm gonna do is just cross this real quick. And I'm gonna get up that hill that's up there. And we'll see if we can find a little area where I can just plop a chair down and enjoy all this for a little bit, okay? So let's do this. Let's go and check it out. Let's go and check it out. We're okay to set up right here. And that is what we're going to do. Gonna set up right here. Nothing to it. A little wet out here, so I need to find a dry space to put my bag. Put it right here for now. Quick chair. There, quick chair's all set. Okay, click share is fine. Now we're gonna find a flat place to put our flat top table. Okay. So we have a table down here. So I got it flat as I can, right there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna unpack my thing here. I'm just gonna need this pan and this propane or premium fuel blend, we call it. I have my Soto oven. What we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get this base out here so I can fit the propane on top of it so it stays steady. Nice and steady like that. Okay, turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on. Yeah. 
turn on. Okay, I gotta get my water. Okay. So I got this and I need uh, two cups of water to boil up for my freeze dried breakfast. Let's put that right in there. Two cups of water done. That right on top. And we're gonna cover it. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit real quick. Okay guys, we have a little problem. I didn't pack the freeze dried meal. I thought I did, but I was talking to my girlfriend at the kitchen table. Shit. So, yeah, I think this is like the end of the video. So what we're gonna do is, uh, hmm, let's think for a minute. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, we could have had something here this morning. That was the whole plan. So let's turn this gas off. Turn it all the way off. I'll let that cool down a little bit before we pack it up. All right, so I'm packing stuff away. A little bit of a waste of my time, kind of. I just wanted to cook that freeze dried meal out here. First time out here, just to get into the camping spirit, you know, get myself ready about. Oh well, like a dumbass, I forgot to pack it. But we got a nice area here to kind of chill out. I brought my Nintendo Switch, so I might just stay out here for a little bit and just enjoy the sounds of nature. And then we'll get going back, you know what I'm saying? If it says no trespassing, you know, there's no trespassing for right now anyway. Maybe, maybe we, how about this? How about we check it out a little bit further? Here we go, we're moving out. And go a little bit further in. As you see, nothing's been up through here. I don't see any animal tracks, except for, I think this is deer tracks right here. Here are deer tracks, but I don't see any other signs of life up here. It certainly is beautiful though. It looks really nice. Oh wow. Definitely a lot of places to uh, camp. My, my girlfriend says start cooking acorns. Okay. Very careful. We're hunting rabbits. Dig safe. TP2 dig safe. Dig safe pull up. Yeah, they're gonna turn this into some kind of property, I can tell. I like these open areas in the woods. So I'm trying to see where I could like do some camping. This would be a good campsite right here. Nice and flat. Just clear it up a little bit. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of areas here to sprout out vegetation. Okay. This hill is kind of deep. Let's see. I think I can make it up there. There we go, that was nothing. That was nothing. That's good exercise. This is good exercise.
okay, we got like a metal pole here. <laughs> Definitely something's going on back here, but you know what? That's all right. Oh, we're back home, and this is where, where I left it. This breakfast skillet, guys. This is what I wanted to cook. This freeze-dried breakfast skillet. There's two cups of water. That's what I was trying to boil and getting ready. <laughs> But, oh well, next time. All right, I just cleaned out my Jeep a little bit. Just kind of see what we have here. So I put my electric unicycle riding gear right here. Just got it strung up here, you know. TSG helmet, which is uh, going to be phased out soon. And I got my Sherman seats here. And uh, my hillbilly gloves. Actually, I put all my gloves up here. I have gloves up here. Stuff that bus right there. And, and, figured out how to get these seats down. You just pull this down. <laughs> okay. There. And I, mean, I got some junk in here. This is just a shade, so I just take I can take the shade off. But there's plenty of room to like do do some kind of camping back here if I wanted to. So plenty of room here. There we go. Back from the dead, guys. Well, not back from the dead, but out of hibernation, I let it run idle here for about. 15 minutes so far and box of stuff that I didn't need that was in the car you know we got some grizzle pads we got some pads here training cones <laughs> put that back up in storage so let's see in this last part of the video how much of a fool we're gonna look Getting back on a big wheel like the master. It's been a while. Holy cow. <laughs> Compared to the M103, guys, it's like chunky. Let's see, let's see what uh, this, the settings say. The settings for the master today, after coming out of storage, that 55% battery, that's not bad. 122.10 volts. Temperatures at 84 degrees Fahrenheit. It says it's 45 degrees outside. I believe it feels nice. Oh, fire. Why does it feel so weird? The Shinkos always feel like they have a flat. I don't know. I don't know if you notice on my master, but uh, the mud flat came off. It's like potato chips, guys. This thing's like a potato chip. The thing breaks so fucking easy. Um, I should be able to get it back on somehow with like some hot glue on the mud flap and maybe put some washers so it'll stay reinforced a little bit but yeah let's get back on there again free mount You can tell it's a big old guys because it just has that snap feel like bam some kind of ways it has an m103 feeling like it has that torque 
that Bigote is known for. It has that snappy performance feel. So I'm going to close the video out, guys. This is just a thing of things to come. We're going to get back to exploring our world, exploring spring, summer, fall, doing different things here and there. Thank you so much, guys. Signing out. You thought the video was over, didn't you? Well, it might be because the battery is almost done. We're gonna see how much battery we can get out of this GoPro before we end the video, guys. Oh yes. Make sure you always try to gear up, guys. Make sure you guys always make sure you always try to gear up.